We appreciate uh, the effort. You have plenty to be proud of, thanks to investment and in improved agricultural productivity, rather than just having countries import agriculture. Um, increased enrollment of girls in schools, and I think that's extremely important. Save countless lives from malaria and other diseases. That's also important. I am concerned that with resources that tend to be limited here in this country, with demands that grow greatly, whether we can actually survive with more and more of doing things as we always did them, whether they worked or not, or whether we've got to be a lot more innovative. Last week, we saw where 50 million people watch a YouTube video about Joseph Coney and the Lord's Resistance Army, who terrorized civilians in Central Africa for two decades. About a dozen years ago, Tim Reeser from my staff went to, uh, went to Uganda to see what kind of aid we could bring to families that have been destroyed and lives destroyed by Joseph Coney. You've been um, providing humanitarian aid to their victims, and including the families and um, children who were abducted. The USAID is and state are helping to expand early warning radio network for vulnerable communities. The Leahy War Victims Fund has been used to provide artificial limbs, wheelchairs, and so on. So we've been doing a lot for years. Um, long before attention was brought to this. And I included up to $10 million for these programs in the last uh, appropriations bill. I understand the administration supports expanding the State Department's rewards for justice programs to cover war criminals like Joseph Coney. What, what do you plan to do with the 2012 funds that we provided you? Well, uh, thank, thank you, sir, for the question. I, I want to thank you for your uh, incredible leadership on, on this issue for uh, much, a much longer period of time than uh, probably well before YouTube was even, even in place. And uh, the Leahy War Victims Fund is one of the many tools that uh, you have encouraged us to deploy over the past two decades to address this challenging issue, including the other tools include the International Development Assistance Account and the Development Assistance Account, both of which we've deployed aggressively over the last decade to, uh, to try to meet needs that are created by uh, an incredibly unjust situation. Uh, the video that, to which you referred has been seen by so many people, and it does highlight uh, the basic actions and approach of, of the Lord's Resistance Army. Our approach has been uh, to focus on humanitarian relief and recovery in places like northern Uganda, which are now cleared in some degree of the LRA. We've seen I, in, internally displaced persons return uh, to their communities, and we support those returns, providing people uh, opportunities for education, employment, to re-enter their own economy, mostly by supporting agriculture, which is the primary economy in the north in Uganda. But we also know that there are efforts that need to be made in the Central African Republic, in the DRC, in South Sudan. And in those areas, we've expanded our efforts to support recovery, uh, offering psychosocial support for children, offer humanitarian assistance, uh, ranging from food and water and other basic necessities, but also uh, cash for work, opportunities to be engaged in short-term employment, creating roads uh, and helping their economies get back together.